Hey, Jacob. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we have Lou and Phoebe here. Go ahead and ask a question. All right. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Uh, good evening, Lou and Phoebe. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me. Um, just uh, overall, uh, what's the team's mindset uh, after tonight's loss? we got to go for it. <laughs> Every game, you know, we've got to win. We knew that coming into this as well. It's unfortunate that we have created a lot of chances. We just need to put them away. But, yeah, our goal stays the same. Uh, make playoffs. Okay, after that. Um, hey. I guess uh, I'm just trying to think of some other questions on the fly since I'm the only one here. So That's okay. For that. no worries, um, but um, just... You know, kind of going into the first half, uh, you know, the team had the bulk of the possession, just weren't able to make that final, uh, you know, touch on, you know, outside of that one free kick that G took to for Jordan, she almost gets a touch on it, but, you know, uh, game gets on it. Um, what sort of adjustments did Laura uh, tell the team, you know, going into halftime and, you know, try to make something uh, happen in the second half? Yeah, I mean, I think I can speak for myself on this one. Um, just carrying the ball a little bit more, making them make a decision, um, which in turn opened up spaces and, and uh, areas that we found joy in. Um, I thought especially our outside backs really getting involved in the game in the second half um, helped us out, but obviously um, still didn't get that final product, so clearly have a little more learning to do. And then um, you two are obviously not uh, strangers to the environment in Houston, but just what was it like on the field with 91 degree temperature kickoff and then just the humidity? Like, did it did that weather kind of affect uh, anything in terms of like how the ball was moving for you guys? I, I don't know if it changed the way the ball moved. The field was nice, so the ball was moving fast, which was enjoyable more than anything else. But. Um, Frankly, that was a pretty chilly game for Houston. Yeah. I mean, it's always hard to come here, right? Like, we're traveling. It's always going to be hot regardless. Um, you know, we prep for these things. So I think we have a lot of resources, and we did really well with that um, to keep us all in the game. Um, and it's, yeah, I wish we could climatize to, to this heat, but it's, we just can't in Seattle. So um, it ends up being a mental game and moving the ball like we've talked about. It's the one thing that doesn't get tired, so we needed to make sure that we continue to move them because it's awful for them as well. Um, it's not just us coming into this environment. So, yeah, I thought we handled it well. Um, I think at the end of the day, we just need to finish our chances and keep the ball out of the net. You got it. Thank you both. Thanks, Jacob. Jada, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, Lou, with that, is it a similar story that you guys have kind of had all season as far as finishing the chances, or was there anything that Houston was doing that made that a little bit more difficult uh, tonight? Yeah, I think Houston's just always been an unpredictable team, which is hard to play against. Um, but at the end of the day, they battled hard and they kept themselves in the game. So yeah, I think, you know, same story. Um, just those small little moments in the chaos, if we can kind of calm down and be able to put one away. I think if we put one away early, that game's different. Um, and yeah, they, they showed one ounce of quality and that was a game changer. With the with the playoffs, I mean, are you guys standing watching in the sense of knowing that they lost and uh, obviously Louisville, you know, came back, but <clears throat> that there was an opportunity here, or, or are you now kind of maybe wanting to put that in the, on the back burner and kind of maybe focus on just getting results now? Exactly. We can't, I and mean, we need to learn from what we need to learn from in this game, but we can't keep dwelling on these past couple games, it's literally do or die now. Thanks, Jada. Any other questions? I have, I have one more. If you guys want to talk a little bit about um, having Jordan back in the um, in the uh, lineup for you guys, there's a lot of uh, uh, shots of trying to get her going. Uh, can you talk a little bit, I guess, about, about that or what you guys were trying to do, as, at least with the attack? Yeah, I mean, I think Jordy's always going to be a really good attacking threat, whether it be in the air, on the ground, turning, taking people on, mummy on, whatever it is. And especially with the addition of Anna, I think they really play well off of each other. Um, I think in terms of something that really like unleashes our attack, being Jess Fishlock and, and missing her hurts, obviously. But I think we have the solves that we need to, to get results in these games, and we really just need to put it together and, and move on.
on to the next one and get results. Thanks, Jada. All right, thank you, everyone. We'll have Laura here soon.